So GDPR, uh, regulatory uh, compliance with facial recognition and, uh, well, not facial recognition, sorry, face capture um, that you talked yes. about earlier on. Uh, could you cover that for a sec? Sure, we are GDPR compliant. So for us, when we create the personalized avatars, it is processed um, in the cloud on our systems, but then it is actually delivered to the user's phone as well as to the brand. And so it's held in a logged in environment for them. And that's, and then we discard the data altogether. So it, we are GDPR compliant. Fantastic. And how would you compare yeah. personalized mannequins versus personalized avatars in terms of their pros and cons? Well, um, I think it's, and this is my belief, it's all about consumer preference. I think some people do want to have that photorealistic experience and it's just sort of like, for them, it's like maybe something they've dreamt about for a long time. Whereas others may be along the lines of that GDPR question, a little bit more sensitive or, or hesitant to sort of do a facial capture. And so they, but they still see the value in having the body shape captured, obviously for, for their own benefit. So for me, I, I try not to have a judgment which one is quote unquote better. I would say whatever works for your customers is is the best way to go. Yeah, sure. Uh, Steve, look, great yeah. presentation. Thanks for that. And um, well done. You got all the Q&A done as well. So good job. Okay, very good. All right. Well, if there are other questions that arise, do reach out to us at reactivereality.com. And thank you to PI Apparel for the opportunity as well as for doing such great work in the industry. Keep bringing Thanks. us all together.